you want to understand the history of this National Press Club over the last hundred years, and in fact, if you want to understand the last hundred years in the United States and the world, you could do a lot worse than to wander through this press club and look at the newspaper mats and the newspaper plates that are uh, all over the walls here. They really tell the story of the 20th and 21st centuries. You look at the photographs on the walls and you see national leaders, you see world leaders, you see entertainers. Uh, there is a feeling that people who are nationally and internationally known have trod these halls. Everything that has happened in, in the United States and the world of, of consequence over the last 10 decades is represented on those walls. They are an absolute historical gem that sort of frame why this press club has been so important for so long. Well, it's very appropriate that the National Press Club is located on 14th Street at the intersection of 14th and F, right near Pennsylvania Avenue, because that was the hub of the really the first uh, conclave of Washington journalists. There really hadn't been many Washington reporters here before the Civil War. But when the Civil War started in 1861, everybody wanted to cover the war. Everybody wanted to cover Washington. Washington, D.C. was the best place to cover the Civil War because the first battle was just 30 miles away. And many of the other major battles were within a day's ride. Uh, and the best news was really at the bar at the Willard Hotel and at the Ebert Hotel. And the Press Club was founded in 1908. And I'd like to tell you it was founded for some lofty journalistic reason, like defense of the First Amendment. But the fact of the matter, the club was founded because in 1908, the bars in Washington closed at midnight. And in April of 1908, a bunch of reporters met over there at the Round Robin Bar in the Willard Hotel, and there they signed the charter to create the National Press Club. Everybody put in, I think, 10 bucks uh, for the initial fee, and, uh, and there they had it, a National Press Club. It's not in, a, in any way an accident that it's 1908, because this is the end of the Theodore Roosevelt era. And Theodore Roosevelt was probably as important a president as any president of the United States for the, the Washington, D.C. press corps. He's the first president to actually build a press room inside the White House. Prior to that, reporters had literally had to stand out on the driveway in the, the rain and the snow and the sunshine and try to interview people as they came and went to see the president.